Hi guys, welcome back. Today we have a surprise bag and this one is Easter themed with our little Easter bunny and eggs. I love these because they have so many cool things in them. This one was $3 and it may contain stickers, puzzles, crayons, coloring books, stencils, or a velvet poster. And these are found at your dollar store. So let's go ahead and rip this one open and see what we get. I have not been able to find one that has a good velvet poster. Let's go. All right, and our bag is empty. Yep, our bag is empty. Okay. So we have a surprise color Easter coloring book Ooh, with mazes. Oh, lots of mazes. This one is actually quite nice. Look at all the mazes. And you can color the Easter chicken, the cat with the backpack, goats. This one looks actually quite fun. And this is kids collection. I actually like this. All right, what else do we have? The stickers. So we have different Easter stickers. The chicken and the Easter bunny. Oh, look at that cute little dog and some flowers. Hope they peel off nicely. Yep, and they peel off nicely. Sometimes they get stuck and they don't want to come off. That's actually pretty cool. And of course, the same cheap waxy crayons that don't actually color. And another two-sided puzzle. Now we have opened up enough of these to know that the Crayola crayon or that the, the no-name crayons are not gonna color on this poster or this sorry poster, this two-sided puzzle, and that you're definitely going to need markers or paint because these should go right in the garbage. The stickers are super cute. This one I'm actually disappointed in. Some of the other ones we had were so much better. I do love the book. It does have fairly thick pages. And this you could color with your crayons. Preferably other crayons. But you could color with your crayons. I like the fact that there are mazes in here. Because I loved mazes when I was a kid. Let's go ahead now. I want to try this puzzle. I am going to use markers. I am not going to use the crayons. We have learned that. So let's take this out and see how easy it is. It's a little stiff. Let's see how well it colors. So I am going to get a marker out and we're just gonna color. See, this is so much easier than trying to color with those crayons. Let's just do a little bit here. And I'm gonna to wanna to see if it's going to smear if we use the markers. Now the best thing to do if you're gonna do one of these puzzles is to take a picture of it. That way you know what it's supposed to look like. It's not so important with the little ones, but if you're doing a big puzzle like this, you are definitely gonna to wanna to take a picture. So there we have our little bow. That was cute. Let's try doing some of the grass. I just wanna see if, because we're going over the seams, the marker is going to seep through. Let's see, let's see. We'll just color a little bit of it. There we go. All right, so now we have a little bit colored. I'm gonna pop the puzzle open and see if the markers have seeped through. So it doesn't look like it on this side. This is not a glossy finish, so it should be okay. First, let's see, will they smear? Yeah. So you're gonna wanna give lots of drying time. Yeah, but let's see if it has gone through. So let's pop it open. And no, there is no pink along the edge on the inside there, and there is no green. So as long as you let your coloring dry, this is actually a fairly decent puzzle that won't bend. All right, 
maybe I would recommend this one. The markers have changed my mind and so has the puzzle. For $3, you do get quite a bit for an Easter treat. So you have your two-sided puzzle with your bunny in the wagon and your girl holding the Easter bunny with her basket and her heart. The really cool coloring book and the stickers. So again, if I was going to give this to someone, I would make sure I bought them a box of crayons or some markers to go with it. Other than that, I, I, I've changed my mind. I do like this set. That's it for today, guys. Make sure you share your videos and follow me on Instagram. Share me, share with me all your pictures. I will see you next time. Bye for now.